The Karasuno High School volleyball team is filled with many talented and hardworking players. From the prodigal setter Kageyama to the unbreakable Libro Nishinoya, it's a team that is quite formidable. Almost everyone is hungry to get better, and that hunger is what pushes them to constantly improve. However, as skilled as these guys are, there is one unsung hero on the team who is the foundation that carries this team forward. A foundation that guides these players into becoming better versions of themselves. He's a coach that does more than just train his players. He's involved with them physically, mentally, on the court, and even off the court. He goes far and beyond to make sure his players don't just get better at the game, but grow as individuals. Enter Ukai Keishin, the grandson of the legendary Karasuno coach of old, and the man that gave wings to the fallen crows. When we're first introduced to Ukai as a coach, we can already tell that he's something special. Ukai changed the timings on his day job at the supermarket just so that he can fit practices with the team, while also helping on his family's farm and sometimes even interacting with the players outside of practices. That is a lot of dedication and hard work, which I don't think would be possible if Ukai didn't care about the players. And this leads right into what I think is Ukai's most important trait as a coach. What strikes me the most about coach Ukai is how much he cares for the players he's coaching and how well he can put himself in their shoes. He understands the pain of losing while also understanding the benefits of losing and sympathizes with his players when he needs to. I think it's key, especially when dealing with kids in high school, to think about things happening from their perspective. Ukai knows when he should talk to a player, he knows when to give them space. He understands that players sometimes need encouragement from the coach, but other times they need to be left alone or talk to their friends about it. A good example of this is when Kageyama comes back from the national youth training camp. Kageyama had been playing with the nation's best players on Olympic level courts during this time. And so, when he got back, his standards of volleyball were significantly higher. Coach Ukai had noticed that there was something wrong with Kageyama. During the practice game against Dateko, it seems that Kageyama has returned to being the king he used to be as he's begun demanding things from his teammates. A few fights break out as Kageyama gets increasingly angry because the others aren't keeping up with him. However, when Takeda-sensei asks if they should interfere as coaches, Ukai says no. Ukai understands that Kageyama always had problems with communication within the team, and because Kageyama was so talented, the other players also didn't know what to ask of him. So although he was providing good sets, he wasn't giving each spiker their optimal, personalized sets. And so, even though the team was fighting, Ukai took it as a good thing, because now they were finally communicating to each other what they actually wanted. He understands that right now, initially these demands from the players are manifesting as a fight because they've never done this before, but eventually it will lead to something far greater because he knows he has to let the players experience these feelings for themselves. It's amazing how Ukai not stepping in is what leads to the team growing, and this lesson wasn't a small one either. Without Kageyama understanding this key point as a setter, I don't think they could have defeated Inarizaki. Another thing about Ukai that stands out is that he values improvement and learning over winning but staying stagnant. He encourages his players to make mistakes and to fail because that's one of the best ways that they can get better. Ukai encourages them to acknowledge these mistakes because once they've done that, they're already a different player. For example, during the Tokyo training camp with Nekoma, Fukurodani, and other powerhouses, we had our whole team learning new skills and techniques. For the large majority of this training camp, Karasuno is losing all of its games and constantly doing penalty drills, but that doesn't matter. 
we slowly see that all these losses are quite beneficial for the team because they find something to learn from. Not to mention, if it was just up to the players, I think it would have been much harder for them to recover from their loss against Seijo, but Ukai picked them all right back up. He was the one that told them to not hold on to this loss and let it drag them down, but keep it in their minds as a source of motivation to improve, to become better, which is why they're so devoted to learning new techniques. If Ukai hadn't gotten them into that mental state, I think it would have taken a much longer time before the team could have moved on from that loss. In the training camp, one particular scene highlights this train of thought really well, and this is when Asahi is practicing his serves in a game. It was the other team's set point, so he got scared and just did a normal serve, which got the ball over but resulted in the other team's point. Asahi at the end of the game apologizes because he served safe. Ukai though tells him that he's already fixed his mistake because he acknowledged and understood where he went wrong. Ukai is really good at encouraging his players. He knows when to compliment them, when to reprimand them, and when to let them figure it out for themselves. But I love that Ukai always acknowledges the positives and what everyone is doing well. As a player, when your coach compliments you, it helps a lot and hypes you up to continue improving. Coach Ukai is also very approachable. Because he's so casual a lot of the times, it's very easy for his players to approach him and ask him questions or voice their doubts. He treats them like adults and not kids, at least most of the time, and I think that's why the team respects him so much. He set himself up as a dependable guy who is just like them, who went through similar experiences as them. One of my favorite scenes with Coach Ukai is when Hinata is returning home from the training camp where he's a ball boy. Hinata realizes that more than just physical practice, he also needs to work on his diet and be aware of what he needs to eat. And so Hinata calls Coach Ukai and asks him to help him with his diet problem. The first thing I like to note here is that Hinata is comfortable to talk to his coach, not only outside of school, but quite late into the night. And second, Ukai is not bothered by this at all. As soon as Hinata asks, he delivers and simply begins listing out all the things Hinata should be eating and drinking and how he should take care of himself. It's so amazing to me how these kids see their coach as this really dependable guy who they can talk to whenever they want. Even better, Ukai is happy that Hinata reached out to him, even if it's this late at night. That's because he knows that this will lead to Hinata becoming even better as a player. At the end of the day, that's what matters most to Ukai. On the flip side, what I love about Coach Ukai is that although he's really good at what he does, he's also, at the end of the day, a human and has a lot of doubts and sometimes even makes mistakes. As a coach, one of the hardest things to do is selecting which players should start. Especially when you have multiple talented people who play the same position, it can be really tough to break the news to the players. At the start of season one, when Ukai had newly become Karasuno's coach, he was having a really hard time picking between Sugawara and Kageyama as the starting setter. Sometimes thinking from the player's perspective can be hurtful and that's what happened with Ukai. When he saw that Asahi and Daichi, Suga's two best friends and fellow third years would be starting, he felt bad for having Suga sit on the bench. This was Suga's last year while Kageyama had two more to go. Moreover, it reminded him of his own days as Karasuno setter when he only got one chance to play in his third year and that was when a younger setter wasn't able to. He remembered that pain and thought that it might apply to Suga as well. He thought that maybe it would break him. Rather than thinking logically and simply picking Kageyama, he was weighing in his emotions and strongly considering Suga for that reason. This just shows how considerate he really is, which is great for his character, but as a coach, sometimes you gotta make these tough decisions. However, Ukai has a chat with Suga, who tells him that it's fine if he's not the official setter because he knows Kageyama is better than him. He's fine with not starting if the coach believes Kageyama should have that spot, but that doesn't mean that Suga will give up. He says he's going to keep training and fighting, because he wants to be able to play at any chance that he's given. He wants to be on the court. 
Ukai is lost for words after this and realizes the mistake he's made. He tells Suga that he's underestimated him. What happened was that he put Suga in the same shoes as himself when he was younger, rather than first understanding what Suga thought of the whole issue. Suga is obviously a different person, so he has a different outlook, and that outlook ended up being quite honorable. To remain strong and motivated even though he wouldn't be starting, Suga cared about the team as well as himself and understood what was necessary to make the team better. And Ukai hadn't expected that from him, which is why he says that he underestimated Suga. I love this scene because not only does it show Suga's resolve and awareness, it also shows that Ukai is not a perfect human being. He is just like the rest of us who makes mistakes and overthinks, puts his emotions first at times, and I love that this side of him was also explored. Finally, I want to talk about a scene that we all love. A scene that truly proved to us that without Ukai, Karasuno's morale would not be as high as it is. A scene that solidified that Ukai Keishin took this ragtag team of talent and nurtured them into a team worthy of reaching nationals. During Karasuno's intense match with Shira Torizawa, a five set match that took us to the very last set and the very last point, the boys truly gave it their all. Suki was performing at his best up until this point, undoubtedly being the MVP, Nishinoya was on point, Kageyama and Hinata were soaring, and everyone in general was on their A game. Unfortunately, Suki got injured and had to go off for a while, and in the fifth and final set, Karasuno fought tooth and nail to keep up with Shira Torizawa. However, when it was 14-14, a deuce point that Karasuno did not want to give up, they were diving left and right to make sure the ball stayed up, Ushiwaka smashed the ball in at the end of that long rally and got Shira Torizawa the point. It was now 15-14 and they were at match point, with both sides ridiculously tired. It was an advantage that Karasuno would have killed to have, but were now on the verge of defeat. Karasuno had been so close to reaching nationals and Shira Torizawa seemed to snatch that away from them. The entire team's mood drops. After all, if they couldn't take that point, how could they take the next one? Everyone had their eyes down, their heads pointed toward the ground, and nobody wanted to face this next point. And then we had a legendary moment that changed the outcome of the entire game. A moment that brought hope back into Karasuno and kept them from giving up. A moment that gave wings to the fallen crows. Hearing these words from their coach, Karasuno picks up its head and soon after Suki joins the battle once more. Combined with this morale boost and Suki's return, Karasuno takes the win, emerging victorious in the Miyagi qualifiers and moving forward into the Spring National Tournament. Although Haikyuu is a story about these young players going through the trials and tribulations of volleyball, we often forget the guiding hand that helps our players achieve their dreams. Coach Ukai is one of these guiding hands, a character that perfectly blends in with the Karasuno team and helps them grow in a natural and humble way. Coach Ukai is Karasuno's backbone, a foundation that the team needed the most. Although Hinata, Kageyama, Tsugishima, Daichi, and all these other players spread their wings with their beautiful journeys, battles, and moments, this one man silently watched their back, doing everything in his power so that they could fly uninterrupted and endlessly. Among all these characters, Ukai Keishin is truly Karasuno's unsung hero. If you enjoyed this video, consider subscribing and liking the video and all that jazz. Other than that, I guess I'll see you on the next one.